everybody, it's DJB and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Darren and I'm a model horse artist. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the steps it takes to make resin copies of a sculpture. I've already sculpted the piece, I've already created a mold, and this particular one is a flat medallion cast. This is my Izzy sculpture from 2021. I'm just going to be walking you through my tips and tricks that I have learned in creating copies of these sculptures. So I was creating these medallions in my old rental actually so the biggest thing you want to do is cover your surface with some plastic or protective barrier because this stuff is quite messy. So I'm going to be using Smoothcast 300 which is a liquid resin by Smoothon. It has a pot life of three minutes and a cure time of 10 minutes. To mix, I like to use these silicone containers. The more ways I can eliminate waste, the better. You can use clear plastic cups for this, but I prefer these silicone ones because you can use them more than once. And because they're silicone, they're flexible, so you can peel the resin out of them. So I have three of these, one marked A, one marked B, and then one for the mixing. I also like to use baby powder. This was a tip that was given to me and supposedly the talc in baby powder helps dissipate bubbles in the casting. This was a game changer for me. I was really struggling with bubbles previously to using this. It also helps with the longevity of your mold and releases surface tension and it's just really good practice. I find it really helps in general for the casting process. I always make sure to have some really good rubber gloves. I like these yellow kitchen ones. If I have to walk away for a moment, it's easy to pop these off and then pop them back on. And I also like using these two silicone kitchen tools. One of them is the flat spatula and the other is one of these basting brushes. And the last thing you're gonna need is a lighter. So I have the mold here of Izzy. It's quite a flat mold put on my trusty dusty gloves. You wanna make sure you're wearing gloves because this stuff is messy. So starting with the baby powder, I'm going to use a light sprinkling and then I use the brush to just get into all of the grooves and whatnots of the mold. And then I'm just gonna hop right to it with my part B into my part B cup. Make sure to shake these up really good. Make sure that the resin itself is thoroughly mixed. I've done all my measurements, so these cups also have measures on them, so I'm able to determine how much of both I need. I have purchased some glass Pyrex containers, which I'm thinking will work really well for this. I'm gonna pour both of these into the mixing pot to combine them together. And then using that flat spatula, we're just gonna stir that resin together. I like to stir it for, you know, a good 30 seconds to a minute. You wanna make sure that it is thoroughly mixed. So you don't wanna skip on this step and you'll notice that the one part there is a little bit of a more yellowy color, but when you mix them together, it turns to a, a translucent. And then I'm gonna pour this right into the mold and I don't pour all of it right away. And using that basting brush, I can dissipate some of the bubbles and move that resin into the grooves and details of the sculpture. Well, you can use a disposable brush, but like I said, I like to reuse my supplies. If I'm making 30 copies of these, I don't wanna be throwing away 30 paint brushes. Thank you. 
And then taking the lighter, I'm gonna run that over the back side of this and that's gonna dissipate any bubbles that occur on the surface. So this is gonna be the back of the medallion. You can literally watch them disappear as you run the, the flame, the heat over top of that. Then I'm gonna start a timer for six minutes. I believe that was the time that I needed for these guys because they were a bit thinner, but you don't wanna demold early so start with your 10 minute you can check on things as you go and then the resin curing process is quite magical it basically just starts happening the mold is gonna get a bit warm it's a chemical reaction so it's a bit hot but you can see it literally just starts to turn white and it will slowly engulf the entire thing this is not sped up this is real time Then once that timer goes off, I am able to demold the casting. I start with the edges, releasing it from the edge, and then I can just pop it out really gently. And there we have an Izzy cast. And we can clean up the back, remove the flashing from the edges, and I could even run this over a sander, a belt sander. I have one of those and it's really helpful to make the backs of these a little more clean, a little more smooth and flat. Then I take some time to clean up the mold, remove some of the resin that may be on the outside. And these tools are gonna cure in the same amount of time as your sculpture is. So we can pull them out of there and we can bend this silicone cup to be able to peel out the resin. I've got no gloves on here, but I would recommend using gloves because sometimes there is some residue resin in there and you don't really want that on your skin, so. This is a big hard plastic chunk on the basting brush and you can see that that just literally pulls off of those tendrils. And same as this little spatula tool, it's pretty easy to remove the resin. And then you keep going until you have as many copies as desired. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that this gave you a few tips and tricks and can make your resin casting processes a little bit easier. This has been DJB Studios. Happy customizing.